bad memories are better than good if memories. If you have a boyfriend, songs. just break up with him. Break up with that boyfriend and then get back together because yes. those are the good songs. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin your life. Hey guys, welcome to Song Creation Media, where we talk about our songwriting techniques as well as we break down other songwriters' techniques and give you tips on songwriting. My name is Gabby. My name is Leah. This is the fifth episode of Song Creation Media. And we'll play a song for you. Yes. The song we're doing is called... November Highway. November High. We're also going to talk about getting over writer's block, which is a very common subject... Subject. Subject. I like among, subject. <laughs> among songwriters. Especially if you're starting out and you really don't know what to do when you're uninspired. Well, stick around and we're going to let you in on our secrets. Hope you guys enjoy keeps falling Alright, so that was... Where, isn't that song, like, available online? Oh, yeah. I recorded this professionally with... Well, my band name at the time was The Drama. You can find me on SoundCloud or Facebook under The Drama if you're interested in finding the this, actual, like... This recording. song is cool. It's recorded. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Anyway, so that was called November Highway by Leah Lynn. Did you, you did the whole thing, right? Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time. I wrote that back when my name was Leah Morse. <laughs> Yes. I had a lot of support while writing it. I mean, because I can't play the guitar or a piano, so. Mm. What does it mean? Okay, well. I mean, I think it. I think it explains itself, but. We'd been doing a lot of traveling that year. This was written during a road trip, like a 15-hour road trip, and it's kind of like that bittersweet feeling of somewhere between home and where you want to be, but you also want to be home. I was trying to capture that, like. That feeling, I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I wrote the lyrics then. And then we came back home and worked on the tune then. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about writer's block here. And I feel like it happens to me more often than not. Like, it happens, like, all the time. I feel like I live in writer's block. But I've got two, <laughs> two things that will help you, that have helped me. So first of all, for me, is, like, don't push it. 
You know, if you feel like you've 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 reached this like desert of like creativity, sometimes you just need to take a break. If it's like you've been writing all day and you don't know what to write, or if it's like a season, like a couple of months, it's okay to take a break. Yeah. And do things that inspire you. Maybe that's my second point. That's what I was gonna say. Oh dang. <laughs> okay, so let me hold that one off. So point one for me. Don't push yourself. If you reach that point where like you can't go further, give your mind a break and right. allow yourself to kind of circulate a new flow of ideas. All right. Well, my first point was would be to um, get out and make a story because you can't write when you just your well is empty. You have like no life experiences going on. You've got like you feel very stuck in a rut. Go out and do something you would never do or do something that you wanted to do for a long time but never had you you never really got the motivation to do it unless you're just an insomniac like play a little more dangerous ah owl city adam something yeah get out do something you would just you just haven't had time to do or would normally not do meet someone new make an experience make a memory that you can use good or bad yeah bad or actually bad memories are better than good memories if you have a boyfriend just break up with him break up with that boyfriend and then get back together because yes those are the good songs (laughs) (laughs) ruin your life second point for me i think is do a little studying listen to different types of music learn about different styles of songwriting and some music documentaries you know if you've been putting music to lyrics start try to flip it around and do it the other way around i think we talked about that in a different episode but like, Always get advice. just try to like, don't stick to your style, flip it around and try something new. And you might just like be like, oh, this is really cool. It that helps might me. be how you decide to write from then on. Exactly. My second point would be to keep a journal of just one liners, stuff that just comes to you. And then you just didn't have anything to follow it up with. And then go back through that journal, like stuff that you wrote eight years ago could jumpstart something and you have a song. I do that all the time. I have... Um, a little notepad in my phone just full of one-liners or like single verses that I wrote years ago and I come back to them and like I, I have the inspiration to write a whole new song so that's true that's pretty pretty good for writer's block anyway so guys thank you guys so much for watching that has been four tips for you guys to end writer's block coming from and us stuff now. that has helped us get through those hard times because they're yeah. pretty hard yeah, they are hard. If they don't work for you, then, you know. So just unlike this do video. Work for you, please you don't do that. Don't unlike us. Um, don't dislike us. But actually, if you like this video, please actually physically Thanks. like it. We will be back next week with more tips and new song. Guys, if you feel so inclined, please subscribe, like this video, comment below if you have any ideas yeah. or questions or is there anything you want us to talk about. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next week.